Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Google just published another new MCP and its name is Chrome DevTools MCP. And with this new MCP, your development flow will be now very easier because this new MCP will automatically test the application, will simulate the behavior and also it will tell you the performance issue and there are many things that it will do. And many people are getting confused this Chrome DevTools MCP with the Playwright MCP that is uh, basically Playwright MCP also does the same thing and uh, what is the difference between this Chrome DevTools MCP or this Playwright MCP? Should you move from this Playwright MCP to Chrome DevTools MCP? So all of that answers you will get in this video and also in this video I will show you this Chrome DevTools MCP setup step by step in VS Code, Winesurf, Cursor, Cloud Code, Gemini CLI all of the setups that I will show you. Okay, so stay with me till the end. First of all, go to this GitHub repository Chrome DevTools MCP. The link is given in description and this is the GitHub and here just scroll down below and here you will find this MCP code. So just copy this code and what you have to do, you can uh, go to this cursor and inside cursor, you know that just go to this cursor settings and there on the left hand side you will find this MCP and here what you can do that uh, you can click on this new MCP server and there just add this MCP server and after that you will find that here these 26 tools you will get and this is the green color that is showing here and here you see that navigate page history list page close page so there are multiple tools are available 26 tools okay and same things you can do with the wine serve also for wine serve just open the wine serve and on the right hand side you will find this customization beside the plus icon follow my cursor and there you will find this mcp so here you see that i have added this one and if you are adding it for the first time then just click on this configure okay and here you will find this mcp server and here you can add it okay now let me show you some of the features that it has here you see that this is their official documentation this is the what is the model context protocol mcp i hope many of you already know but in a simple way if i tell you that uh, all the llms or all the applications have their own capability but if you want to extend the capability then in that case this mcp acts like a usb so in your laptop uh, multiple times you are using uh, different type of USB. So maybe you are using the Wi-Fi adapter or the Bluetooth adapter. So that are all actually USB and that the similar things in the MCP and here you see that uh, what you can use it for. So here you see the verify in the browser that your change works as expected. Suppose you have made one login page and you can ask this MCP that please open the browser and please Try to do the login and see that this feature is already uh, working as expected or not. Next one is this diagonal network and console error. So you can check that your application, how your application works in case of 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G network and slow 3G, fast 3G. So in that case, you will get the idea that uh, how your images got loaded inside your application. Okay. And it will be very much helpful for you to change to do the change in your application and also the console error here you see a few images on localhost 880 are not loading what is happening so you have found that uh, you got some console error regarding the image loading uh, in your chrome uh, that inspect right and you can just ask it that please uh, was this so it will do that here you see that simulate the user behavior why does submitting the form fail after entering an email address? So when you will ask it, it will automatically do that things and means it will fill the forms automatically and it will submit that and it will tell you the exact bug that is present inside your code. And you see, navigate fill out forms and click buttons to produce the bugs and test complex user flow. And all of that are possible using this Chrome DevTools MCP. And there are multiple things debug live styling and layout issues and also automate performance audit okay so here you see that your website is loading slowly make it load faster all of the things that uh, what you can do 
to increase the um, LCP number that you see in, investigate the specific performance issue like the high LCP numbers so all of that are possible using this uh, ground group tools MCP okay now let's see that how it actually works so for testing it what I have done that I have actually written one prompt in my notepad can you run the application and see how it works in Chrome browser using the Chrome DevTools MCP? So just write in this way and here just paste it and press enter. So you will see that it will use that Chrome DevTools MCP. Okay, so let's wait for that. And here you see that it has opened that in the Chrome DevTools MCP. And here you see, if you see uh, in WindServe also, it is using this Chrome DevTools MCP. And now it is uh, checking all of the things. And here you see that automatically it is uh, scrolling. Here you see that excellent, uh, follow my cursor. Uh, you will understand it more clearly. Excellent. Let me scroll down to see the rest of the dashboard, including the e-charts focusing chart. So it will automatically scroll your web page and it will automatically, here you see, it is typing this meeting section in the search bar also. I have not done anything. My hands are here. And here you see that automatically the screen is getting changed, right? So this is very interesting. And all of the things that is, uh, it is doing in the browser, they are printing that log also on the right hand side in the wine server. So if I just uh, make it some kind of small, then you will understand what it is doing. And let me open it here also. Here you see the both are visible here. On the left hand side, we have this browser. So if I just keep it small. And here you see. So it is now checking that resizing capability also, all of that things. In the same way you can perform this and after that when all the things uh, will all the checks will be happen and it will give you the uh, final result okay here you see that now it is check the mobile it is checking the mobile responsive also means my hand is here right but it is automatically uh, keeping it as a mobile responsiveness then automatically it is uh, spreading out the screen so it is doing it automatically right now let's see that has it given any output okay now also it is checking that so here you see that now it, it is checking the performance issue okay yes now it has tested and here you see that application analysis complete and if i just place myself here then you will understand the result here you see that so it, what it has found that visual components, interactive features, responsive design, performance analysis, means the LCP, which is a very important things for a website and network request, total five requests, all successful and third party impact that you see and technical stack summary. The application is production ready with excellent performance metrics. The LCP of 116 millisecond is outstanding and the zero CLS scores indicate stable layout. The responsive design works seamlessly across all viewport sizes. That means for mobile also, for tab also and for desktop also it is working fine. All interactive features function correctly and the e-charts integration provides smooth animated data visualization. So that means you can deploy this application and it is currently production ready here you see that it has automatically told us so this is the advantage now also if i ask it that please test, test this application so again just uh, run the prompt can you run the application and see how it works uh, how it works for the for the uh, for the uh, 3g 2g and 5g network for 3G and 4G and 5G network. Okay. Using Chrome Dev Tools MCP. Okay. So it will do that analysis also. 
Now in the meantime, when it is doing that analysis, let me show you one uh, interesting thing that uh, many people are getting confused uh, with this Chrome DevTools MCP with the Playwright MCP that when to use which one. Actually, the thing is that Playwright MCP works for the cross browser means uh, this Chrome DevTools MCP is for the specifically for the Chrome. But if you want to test the same website for the um, Microsoft Edge for the Opera browser or you can say that for the uh, Safari, okay, and also this Chrome. So for multiple browser, if you want to test it for Firefox, then this Playwright MCP is best because it supports. And also, if you uh, want to generate the test cases, okay, if you want to generate the test cases for and uh, for, for your application, then also Playwright MCP is best because uh, this Playwright MCP uses the Playwright framework. For generating the test cases on and also it will test your application so these are the uh, uh, specific features that is available for this playwright mcp here you see playwright mcp offers broader capabilities for cross browser automation intelligent test generation complex orchestration and multi-browser support making it more versatile for large scale uh, qa and testing workflows where flexibility and extensibility matter most However, Chrome DevTools MCP provides deeper and more efficient access to Chrome's internal diagnostics and performance profiling, enabling advanced debugging and live development workflows specific to Chrome environment. Now, here what I will suggest you that use both. Use both and your first uh, priority will, will be Chrome DevTools MCP during your development. Okay. During your development, your first priority will be Chrome DevTools MCP. If you found that Chrome DevTools have given you uh, the issues and uh, you first resolve that issues according to that. And when you will find that, yes, it is working fine with the Chrome DevTools MCP, then move to Play Playwright MCP. Okay. This would be your uh, development workflow. So use both because both have different, different advantages. You cannot uh, use one MCP like uh, with Playwright MCP has some advantage Chrome DevTools MCP has some advantage and so use both okay and another thing is that if you face any issue during uh, doing the setup of this Chrome DevTools MCP then just do one thing uh, this is the command that I will give in description so just do this npx clear npx cache okay so sometimes what happens that due to this npx cache this MCP uh, creates some problem to this NPX clear NPX cache given in description. And after that also, if you face problem, then just install it manually npm install minus G Chrome DevTools MCP at that latest. And after doing this, if you uh, just uh, do this setup or uh, run these things, it will work. And uh, after that also, if you face any issue, just let me know in the comment section. Okay. So I hope that this detailed explanation with the uh, transparency, I it, it, it will be helpful for you. And if you found helpful, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Don't forget to like this video also. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care.